Well, I think the best uh, strategy for relapse after first line therapy depends on whether the patient relapses quickly after his uh, first line therapy or whether he has a relapse 12 months or later after his first line therapy. So for patients that have a relapse within 12 months after first line therapy, and if that patient is fit, then CAR T-cell therapy would be a very nice strategy to uh, give to your patient if that is available in your country. Because we know from the SUMA-7 trial and also from the TRANSFORM trial that um, CAR T-cell therapy is an, uh, has a better outcome than standard of care with salvage chemotherapy and an autology stem cell transplant. Obviously, you also have patients that will not qualify for CAR T-cell therapy, and then you will have to look into other strategies, for example, clinical trials or by specific antibodies. If you have a patient with a late relapse, so 12 months or later after first diagnosis, then you could give that patient, if he is fit, salvage chemotherapy and an autology stem cell transplant, because we know that that is still uh, better than only give him salvage therapy without a transplant. And again, if you have a patient that is not fit and he has a late relapse, then you could uh, think about CAR T cell therapy. So there are patients that are not eligible for autology transplant, but they are eligible for CAR T cell therapy. If your patient also not qualifies for CAR T cell therapy, then it would be nice if you could uh, have a clinical trial, maybe treat them with bispecific uh, antibodies or other monoclonal based uh, therapies.